technology uh, i used and uh, for the real life uh, ex i mean informations how it is helping us uh, to do this different kind of analysis so that i am trying to focus it here because this is actually our um, uh, this is actually a uh, means experience which i really go through with that and uh, I, i try to use our uh, isri products so to how to uh, analyze these data sets so to doing this uh, first i will today is actually uh, on of one of our training that training we went in a full bunny okay it is it is i just show you uh, it is a combination of uh, means a story map and my analysis which i did so see this is actually this is actually the uh, full story means we started my journey from kolkata as you see this is started from journey to kolkata and we reached to orisha uh, berampur so this is a berampur okay so what will happen so that during that time there is a very uh, a super cyclone which is came that is called uh, titli and you heard about that this titli is also a very severe cyclone before the fani that is came so that time me and chandan have two training of this colleges two colleges one is i went uh, i have to chandan is have to give a training in uh, this berampur colleges polytechnic colleges so that is in this city and i have to give training 250 km away one this this is a full one you see this area is totally hilly area okay so the day so now i go back to my uh, this uh, slides see i just started my uh, 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 journey from kolkata to berampur with chandan and we stayed together uh, there in berampur okay so berampur we stayed and there is a cyclone alert so that is just uh, means we we thought that because usually whatever the cyclone will be there that maybe take some and around uh, to the south or it will come to the west bengal side but uh, it is hit a, a, some few times also in so odisha also but somehow we thought we can uh, manage it because my area is full one is 250 km away from berampur so it is really far from coastal area i don't face any problem i thought and uh, somehow chandan said okay let's go we will finish the training and we'll come back so we both go there and that day night and it was a, it was a raid alert it was a raid alert is announced and berampur city is totally blocked down and we both are uh, in actually uh, in a berampur hotel me and chandan so what will happen so there night we we discuss it that how will we will go back or not so uh, both we are actually decided now let's go we will finish our duty and go come back because uh, these are the core area and every time it is coming it is very difficult so uh, i fit said okay uh, chandan uh, you will stay here because chandan training is already cancelled because raid alert is already announced at berampur is under risk so i already booked one cab and next day it was 12 o'clock when the titli cyclone will hit the berampur and i thought okay we'll start uh, by night 3 o'clock then i do i will not face any problem so i started my journey at uh, morning early i book a cab and i started my journey at 4 o'clock and what will happen at 4 o'clock i when i am going that time it was just a small rain is going on but anyhow that uh, i heard from the chandan that uh, there is very big several uh, wind is come out and all the windows of the hotel where we are staying what's everything is broke down so there is no light no connections even uh, chandan face problem to get food uh, for one hour half day so i thought okay i just uh, left uh, berampur it will be fine for me i i will come back full bunny because that is weather is very nice as you see this is the place where i went okay for the training this is a full bunny town it's a beautiful hilly town beautiful hilly town wherever we experience because we never thought urisha this type of places is available so it is a very nice experience when i faced so many beautiful river we crossed so many beautiful valley we will cross okay and obviously the training which whatever we will, will give, giving there so even students are taking me in the evening to that spots are there is a very good spots of there you just take so this is the uh, place where i took the training so i am really enjoy so last day of the training i i thought to come back okay so the that, that time the rain is already started see whenever we are doing some cyclonic studies now usually if you see so many papers so usually the cyclone will affect the coastal but we never thought it can be affected up to the 250 km but this is the first cyclone I, if you if you read the newspaper and uh, uh, some articles or some uh, published paper this is the first cyclone which is not affected the coastal area much it is affected 
the outer area so much this this, this is the few uh, districts which is like pulmani and some gajibad so these are the few districts will have really several affected affected by the cyc uh, cyclone rainfall so rain was started so i thought okay uh, rain is started here so we will go back uh, down in the and we'll reach the berampur by night because it is take 5 to 6 hours to reach there so once we started slowly slowly that rain is going to start see here now i am showing again to my uh, data uh, which i did the analysis so here so this is the place where we have to cross okay this is the aska village and i just started from the uh, pulwani and uh, it started from 3 o'clock and i reached here up to this place this place okay place by uh, 5 o'clock or uh, sorry not 5 o'clock it is almost uh, 4:30 i reached here and rainfall is so much okay one time our uh, means uh, my tire of the means uh, the car is also gone so somehow in the night i hold the mobile and uh, uh, we change our tire and i thought i told to the driver sir please uh, don't uh, make car fast go slow so we can reach safely because we have only one tire so anyway we just reached this andogi area okay and see here small river is actually crossing here so so that area already water logging started okay so our car is almost uh, crossing over the water so i said okay no problem uh, whatever we reach we can go so somehow we cross all this area so these are actually a low land if you see this is the highland area so once we came down from the hill so this low land already the water is started logging okay so now here when we reach this is called aska village if you see this is the aska village and we have to cross we have to cross this bridge okay i have to cross this bridge so while i am going crossing this bridge i have one big picture i didn't forget to show you that so that time i stayed in this bridge and i took the picture here down so it is a very beautiful place and uh, uh, i took uh, i i observe the water level was 20 to 30 feet down means from the bridge the water level is 20 to 30 feet down so that was evening almost we, because we are going very slow and i reached here almost 8:30 so here to here only this much area it will take me to 3 hours to reach because as as total area is under water log and when we come to this bridge we so i i observed this my leg is uh, means uh, when we come down from the Uh, car to cross the bridge i saw some one truck is going in front so over the bridge i have knee level water i little bit of afraid because i don't have to locate the bridge but still the two side of the railing is able, able to see and uh, water force is not that much so one truck is going so i told to driver okay let's follow so we are going uh, towards uh, just back side of the car i mean so uh, truck and after some time the bridge when it is crossed na just it is crossed and this is the down area when it is come to down that lorry the truck was floated away with that water and i am very much very much afraid of this okay so we told to the driver and so many other cars also they stopped and they said we okay, go back so slowly 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 we go back and this is the uh, town this is the town we came out okay and this is the hotel where i stayed this is actually a small hotel okay where i stayed okay so this is aska hotel so this is a, only this building which have the three floors three floors uh, building i i i i thought so i told to my driver so we came to our car here uh, he parked his car near to this uh, area i will show you that area okay and we stayed in a night and uh, there is a one small room that me and my driver is actually uh, sharing because there is no other room is available it's a very small town okay so we both uh, slept in the same bed and uh, night it was 2 o'clock suddenly when i found my bed is uh, letting uh, wet so and there is no light connections so i wake up and i i found the uh, that water uh, is come to my bed and i just come down it is a waste level of water and somehow there is a table so my laptop is this office laptop it was a little high so it was not weighed down so i just take my laptop and uh, whatever my bags will be there i just take it out and i, I uh, driver is also already weighed up so we both outside because the driver was very tensed about his car and he saw that his car is also a very difficult condition so he thought he will go and uh, save his car right side 
first you save your life then you go for save your your cars so you have uh, your insurance so don't worry about that so we take we both come upside okay upside means that is a two three floor uh, of this building that building so first floor they are giving for the hotel and second floor they are actually residents of that building so they stay there okay so we are going to that rooftop also so after one hour the water level is actually increased to 15 to 16 feet so that means our first floor is totally gone under water okay. and, and so next day morning means uh, the full night we wake up because full night was the rain this was actually the second uh, third day uh, image so you will see the water level increase is down because that day this first floor is totally under water and uh, means we are actually very much uh, afraid so what will going to happen because i never i, I face so many i will i will show you i have many so many uh, flood experience so that is but this here i i was stuck i was stuck because i am i am not mentally prepared for this flood okay and uh, just that morning uh, second day morning if you see this is the image this is a first day we are totally in the water so i am not getting any help my phone we have only uh, 7% charge 7% charge and i am switching off my mobile and switching on okay to and switch off all the means uh, means uh, internet connection and all so by locally uh, if i able to call i called i just inform okay so i got very good response from all the ect team and that's i really uh, thanks to everyone okay so that is the conditions i faced in the next day and if you see i am not getting food for first day we are not getting any food okay so uh, we are very much hungry not getting food for one day and if there is any possibility to get food i know there is not no chances to uh, rescue that time because we are actually, because if you see this is the water na so it is actually so much flowing so water current is so much because this is now it is slow down the first day few one of this rdf team they try to rescue us and they are unable to reach because they come into one boat and the current is so much so that boat was drown uh, it was actually air boat and it was a leak because of it is heated the light post and in front of us it was actually drown and uh, so many people they are actually catching the laptops and they they not laptops uh, catching the light post and they try to save so another boat will came take them and go away so first day we don't get any help that is the reason we need get a level so next day when i inform them so nrdf people they said okay we already sending food to that village so next day morning from the helicopter they are actually sending some food packets okay and this is the picture of the 12 o'clock okay so morning we get some biscuits dry foods some fruits like apple and all so they throw it over the helicopter so indian army and nrdf team they came and they give us this this is the actually roof where i start okay then this is a uh, i i just taken this picture in front of them and uh, we got the food and somehow uh, these people came at 12 o'clock and they give our rice and uh, some uh, dal and all those things they give to every rooftop for one or two uh, bogies okay so so one person who actually cooking over side of that uh, means roof and uh, they will distribute it food to the others because see in this roof we are actually 100 people that time because if you see most of the most of the building near to this area are one floor okay so first floor is under water so whichever there is a second floor or third floor buildings will be there all people of that town they are actually taking uh, a rest in that drop top so just imagine which my my experience was in the same roof we people are actually there is no toilets okay so one and a half day is already over so people are doing one side there is a toilets and they are doing and other side we are taking a food but good thing that time every people are helping everyone that is i feel good because see when they they are from the helicopter they are putting the food na people are just jumping and trying to catch the uh, food so i am not getting a food okay so people are actually collected those food so a uh, labor who is coming from the uh, uh, i think kerala something some places okay so he said uh, uh, i means i am just sitting here and he just came to me and said you are not getting food so he is offering me food so that time that one biscuit packet is uh, like uh, heaven to me i'm just thanks to god that god is sending that person to me i really thank to him and that is the uh, next day when i got a chances okay so uh, here uh, yes go to the next first slide
So next day, uh, the NRDM people came and they did a heli lifting to us and see this as the condition when I found that area when I'm going to rescue. So this is the town where I actually stuck. So they took us from uh, the rope and I will came out to the helicopter. And this is the condition now, every side. So it's a horrible experience which I faced. Okay, so see this the condition. Okay, so to make it memorized, uh, I just uh, write out this. Uh, if you read this story map, you read every whatever thing I faced. So all the thing I just uh, write it down here. For maybe it will be larger for you people, but for my memory, I just uh, store everything there. So this is the this is the picture of the my car. It was first day, and uh, after some time it was flow down. So this is the car of my. Okay, so after uh, after some time this car is float away and it there is one side of the bridge so where it will catch out okay so so that is the condition so now uh, i did a flood analysis over here so this map i will show you here okay so now if you see what i did so i thought i when i came back i i, I just uh, did some study over it here okay so i just show you you one uh, one minute so this is the this is the one paper i published over this work it means whatever this work i did some analysis okay using our rgs pro which is actually very helpful to do different kind of analysis so for this what i take i took the two different date sentinel data okay so this paper date i took a uh, sentinel data of the that uh, tithli cycle okay one is 5th october and 20th october in between that is i think 10 to uh, 13 that cyclone came Okay, so what I did, I as I I already showed you last of my uh, presentation. If you remember, that is called uh, NDWI technique. So water indices technique. So it is called spectral extraction technique. So using the spectral extraction technique, you can easily enhance the area which is underwater. Okay, so here you you have to use the two different bands of spectral bands. One is your green bands, and another I use infrared band. Okay, so these are the two bands I use, and I extract the water area. Okay, so this is enhancing the water area, and after that, I I unsupervised I class I did the unsupervised classification in the RTS Pro. Okay, so after unsupervised classifications, we did a reclasses. So what the reclasses I did? I did one is water and one is non-water. These two I did as a reclasses. Okay, and after reclassing it, I will extract the water body. So water body two different time I extracted. One is before flood I extracted, and one is after flood I extracted. So just uh, see this uh, data. So this is the this is the two date images. Okay. So this is a before cyclone image. If you see, this is the after this is a before cyclone image. Okay. So I just uh, switch off the water layer. Then you will understand. See, this is the water before. Okay. And if you see this this satellite image, see near to the water area, these black patches you will found. So those are actually stuck the water. It's the after cyclone event. Okay. So using this spectral extraction technique, what I we did, I just extracted these two layer. This is the water layer. So this is a before flood layer, and you just see this is the after flood condition. Okay. So this total area is actually washed out. So these are the two. Uh, these are the few major area which we have, which we have faced so much of water, and this is the area where I stuck. Okay. So so like this way. Means how the technology means I I will try which when I come back we did these studies and I will understand what is the difficult condition I actually feel okay so so like this if anyone want to uh, do kind of a water uh, flood analysis model or flood, uh, flood analysis you want to do so you can do using this technique so here see whatever I did so these are the actually the all uh, the steps um, if you see this uh, geoprocessing tool so these are the few steps which i actually did what i did i i did the same thing i told first i did the i take the two different type of the image sentinel and over that i did the ndwi take so for doing any ndwi is very easy here so you just go to the image analysis see here your work will be very faster okay so you just go here okay so uh, you have to select this your imagery Okay, you just select your imagery. Okay, I'm just switching off this. Select your imagery and you go to this indices and click over this MNDWI. Okay, this is called moisture indices. So MNDWI is giving you, tell you already, it, see how when a pro is, how beautiful software it is to doing this type of uh, spectral targeting. 
earlier you have to know you have to be knowledgeable person like you have to read some paper and you have to know which band is sensitive to what that i already present to you last time the landsat fd7 bands is sensitive with a different different object you targeting and see this pro is a telling me to mdwi you have to select this band like green band which band will be green band you have to select that one see this i this i did manually layer stack so that's why it is coming as a b1 b2 b3 like this but if you if you do the bad composite using the header file of the uh, pro or rgs then you can able to see the name of this band okay, then easily you can select so for this for this purpose we, I, I i have select the, uh, i actually use the three different bands 4 8 so okay 2 3 4 and 8 okay so 8 will be my infrared band and 4 3 3 will be my green band so you have to select here 3 and you have to select here 8 i am not just running i'm just telling you okay for the uh means for uh, sentinel which band combination you have to use to extract the water body so click okay so automatically wherever there is a water body it will be going to extract okay so that this is the technique why did fast so this will give you an output okay so i think uh, we have this output just a minute okay so i just check i just sh show you so this is the output which uh, i this is not in this uh, this one 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 minute Okay. so this is the ndwi techniques you have to means i don't think this is the right one okay so we have to extract that area and then i just classified into different okay so this is the first classification this will be the second class so this is the classification classified image of before uh, incident okay and this is the classified image of the after flood incident okay see from the two classification only we can able to understand the water layer okay so the same here now i i just extracted it in a two different layer so that will be the water and non water so that is that is you have to uh, go and uh, select it here suppose okay so i that layer actually i not added so that is after flood okay so i just classify this two layer and then you have to reclassify it so where you do it so you just go to this our uh, analysis tool geoprocessing tool you go to toolbox so here in special analysis you have this tool option okay in the special analysis you have a option suppose here uh, 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 for the classifications okay so you can go to the raster uh, means uh, multivariate okay iso cluster so first i did iso cluster okay so after iso cluster i got a four classes that classes which i showed you this is iso cluster technique technique this is iso cluster and so is as well technique okay so if you if you did uh, that after doing this you have to go to reclassify okay reclassify and again you have to select you have to select your classes to change it in a reclasses okay so that means suppose here i have 1 2 3 4 classes okay so just see i i just show you one classes so this is the one classes i am taking so what i did four is my water body okay so here whatever is the your target value over ndwi whatever is the target value that will be the higher value okay so four year is your water so you make the four is fine and make other uh, things you can change it from one change it in one value so here after doing this you just run your model so after doing this run so you will get a single layer where which where you will get a two different variation one should be water and one should be non water after doing this that is the process is very easy you just go here okay so uh, i'm just uh, switching off this so you you can go here and you can convert your uh, raster to polygon okay just type rast your raster to okay so just click over this so here input you have to give the reclassified file okay you can give the reclassified file and save it wherever you want to run and after that you will get this two layer within this two layer you will get all the vector file so within that you have to select the water layer which is the four so to doing attribute query you know attribute query okay so using the attribute query you select the layer which has which grid code with water means grid code is four so whatever grid code with four just select that using the attribute query and then right click and export and extract the data so you will get the water layer separately so so very easy technique you can really do the first you can do your analysis very fast here this is i am doing in optical data obviously raw data i am showing totally different process 
okay but this is on optical data how can you will do the class and how can do the analysis so that is the way this is the way i i got this is the two layer one is before flood so this is actually a ask at time actually this is the ask at time okay so uh, we 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 have this two layer so now you will understand this is the before flood and after flood and we also did the map over here okay i shared this story map to some of my friends so many my colleagues so uh, this is actually a total story of here 